look very young. <laughs> Representatives of retired military officers under the Kenyan Veterans for Peace have expressed fears of a looming stalemate between the government and opposition ahead of the bipartisan talks to be held under the confines of parliament. We categorically support reconciliatory statements. The veterans note that one side is likely to run over the other, as indicated by alarming political rhetoric from both camps in the last few days. The veterans now suggesting a multi-sectoral approach to resolve issues raised by the opposition. We suggest a multi-sectoral approach as Kenya belongs to all of us, especially considering that the high issues raised by the opposition go beyond politics. They, however, insist there should be no handshake, insisting it will damage multi-party gains in the country. We are not for handshake. As history both in Kenya and elsewhere clearly shows that this route ends up undermining democracy and the spirit of constitution and multi-party politics which both of our leaders and the Kenyans fought so hard for. At the same time, retired army officers have faulted legislatures for fueling unrest in the country by making sporadic statements at a sensitive time, warning it could put a dent on the spirit of negotiation. By the statements I, I should, by adliners from both sides of pol political divide, with each taking hard stance on the issue raised by the two leaders while reinforcing their confidence in the independent policy oversight authority ipoa the veterans also want the police force to exercise their powers according to the constitution if a policeman gets an order that he knows is unlawful he is supposed to obey his brain to know that this is an illegal order However, they assert that those found guilty of breaching police guidelines in line with the Constitution be held accountable. Everybody will be held to account because Kenya is not a banana republic. If you are the commissioner in charge of a certain area and your officers commit, you know, crimes, it is your command and you as an individual will be held responsible. The retired servicemen are also calling for civil education when it comes to picketing in order to ensure demonstrators are aware of their rights and limitations. Most likely to jeopardize the spirit of negotiations with ultimate risk of driving the country into serious political and security crisis. Mariam Jahid, K24, Nairobi.